Uh, it's, you know, if, if I, <laughs> I'm certain if I, you know, met some of the people that I've made videos on in the past, if I met them in person first, there would probably be sort of a diminishing motivation to make a video about them because you're not going to see this weird persona that they put out there. You're going to see something a little bit more real, something a little bit more human. Mm -hmm. A little more complex. <clears throat> yeah. You know, these, these two characters, like you did, your first one was on Airsoft Fatty and your second one now is on Dax Flame. I mean, these are dudes who probably catch a lot of shit on the internet from people who don't understand them, right? So, I find it interesting that, um, you know, you're going out there and meeting them. And then, all of a sudden, these guys are portrayed as these celebrated, great, you know, very, very sweet individuals. And I wonder if, uh, yeah, it feels very fresh. It feels very different from what's on the YouTube landscape. So, I appreciate that, you know, that perspective. Yeah, thank you. I, yeah, we, they definitely have, you know, their own, like, set of fans and everything. I think, like, with, with Dax as an example, like, I definitely went into it because when you're, when you're creating one of these videos, you sort of want to have a goal. You don't really want to go into it blind because it's like, well, what do we make this video about? Like, mm -hmm. you can't just follow someone around and be like, yeah, do your normal routine. You gotta have like an event or a purpose. Um, so like with people like Dax, I think I went into it thinking, yeah, this guy's awkward. Let's fuck it, let's fuck with him. You know, there, there's a few awkward questions that I don't think made the cut. It was just me trying to poke and pry, thinking like, he's awkward. Let me ask him some uncomfortable questions to make it even weirder. Mm -hmm. But then I realized like as time went on, like. That's like the opposite approach that you should be taking. You should be, I think, feeding into what the particular person is comfortable with, because when they're more comfortable, they're a lot more willing to like put themselves out there and express themselves in an interesting way rather than just like, you know, beating your head against the wall trying to make the funny thing happen. Right. Um, right. How's everything with the? Uh your girlfriend Anissa, now that COVID has slammed the world, she's stuck yeah. in Canada. It's crazy that here in America, we are we have failed to contain the virus to the point where Canada has closed the border on plague-ridden America. <laughs> and so your girlfriend is stuck in Canada, right? Is that the current e situation? Yeah, and let me just say, the Canadians better be very scared because I'm coming up with a 250-page a common law marriage dossier to present to the customs officials <laughs> so that I could go to Canada. Really? You're gonna present it yes. to border control? Yep, and, and they're gonna <laughs> let me through and I'm gonna bring the COVID with me. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> Sorry, Canada, you're screwed. Are you 